What's up YouTube? It's Coach Corey and today I'm going to show you guys the new strategy for Steel Junction and how to get max keys every single time. Alright, so let's get into it. Alright, so there's honestly two really good strategies for Steel Junction and really just Rove Rumble in general. These strategies have worked on both maps and the first one is going to be all tanks, so triple tanks. So you go with El Primo, you go with Bull, and you go with Daryl. And you actually could sub in a Shelly instead of like a Daryl, um, but probably all tanks. It's just the general idea of the strategy is you have a lot of health, you're really hard to take down and that's really important later on. The other strategy is going to be with a Pam, same one as last week pretty much, a Pam, an El Primo, and then a Colt or a Shelly. So I'm going to go over each strategy. I'm going to give you guys tips for each brawler and how to get max keys with both of the strategies and just any sort of general Road Rumble tips just for Steel Junction. So starting out with the triple tank strategy, I think this one is a little bit easier. I don't think you're going to be able to have the same potential to get a really, really high time. Um, you can definitely get to like 6.30 pretty easily. My best time today is 6.37. I don't think that's going to be the best time this week. I'm guessing there's going to be someone who gets around 6.50. Uh, I don't know how. Honestly, it's really, really hard. But we definitely could have gotten 6.40. I can see someone getting pretty lucky and getting a little bit higher as well. So triple tank. The basic idea is later on towards Robo Rumble it gets really hard because... The robots have so much health and those freaking bull robots they just charge in and they're honestly really really hard to deal with and triple tank is strong because they're good versus those charging robots and because they just have a lot of health so they last a while towards the end so basically with both of these strategies it's not too hard until you get towards the last boss and past that and then it gets pretty hard actually around four minutes it can be a little bit difficult you might have someone dying around there as well if you're going with randoms it's obviously going to be pretty difficult but in general with Rob rumble randoms is always pretty hard so you always want to try and beat a team if you can triple tank you're going to have one person on each side you're going to want to have honestly primo i found is going to be the strongest of the options now especially with the bull nerf primo just has the fastest reload and he has the most health and his super is actually pretty good because he can target in. He can go and if there's multiple people that are grouped up, he can go in, go towards them. And he has splash damage, which is really key. And honestly, I think Primo is the best tank for Robo Rumble right now because he does splash damage. He has high health and he has a faster reboot. So his DPS is actually higher. It might be higher than Bull, maybe not with a Bull with his star power going on, but... In general, I think it's a little bit higher, a little more useful. I think there's a couple keys with triple tanks. The main thing is making sure you know when to heal up. I think a lot of times you see people where they'll have half health or so, and there's going to be a robot like a ranged guy attacking them, and they don't know whether to go forward and try and kill them or go back and try and heal up. I'm going to always recommend if you're not in a great position to kill them right away, go back and heal up. The main thing with tanks is you want to try and use those walls to your advantage. Use those walls, hide, go out of the walls, do all of your shots at once, and then go run backwards and find another wall to hide behind while you heal up and recharge your ammo. If you don't have enough ammo to kill the robot anyways, you should definitely be healing. Always be healing in those cases. So use those walls. That's going to be the biggest thing, especially if you're a Daryl, a Shelly, or a Bull. Make sure to use those walls. Pop out. Get all your shots in. Go back. Find a way to heal up, whether it's just running away or getting behind another wall. And then once you're healed up a little bit or you have all your ammo again, then come back out and shoot again. The other thing is using your super. You don't really want to be using your super offensively. Now you can use your super to get close to the boss. That's always a good instance. Get to the boss faster. Always a good idea. El Primo, probably the easiest super to use offensively. Daryl, pretty hard to use offensively. Bull, you can use offensively, but not super recommended. Especially with Bull, because you end up taking a good amount of damage. You don't always stop where you want to. A lot of times, if you're going past the robots, especially, that's not a great time, because then... You're really honestly taking too much damage for it to be used that great. You can use it to get right in front of. So right, have it be right in front of you. Uh, that can be a good use of bull super. But otherwise, not really great. You don't want to be using a super offensively. You end up taking too much damage for the most part. 
you can use it to get towards the boss, but again, it's kind of iffy. So one of the main things with facing the boss as triple tank is just like before, you want to take turns healing up. So go in, use all your shots, go back a bit, heal up. Another guy goes in, they take all their shots, and they're taking the they're taking the fire from the boss while their teammates are healing up and then they switch this works pretty well because you guys have a lot of health so you're able to have the time where say one person can take a bunch of damage while everyone else is healing up and then you just switch you rotate and usually doing that you should be able to deal with the boss and not have anyone die if you're having people die your rotation is not very good or you're just not healing up enough before you get back in the action the other thing too is if you're trying to heal up try and make sure you have a teammate who's going and attacking and make sure they're grabbing the aggro of the boss with triple tanks isn't that hard you might have a problem with this sometimes with a different comp all right and then once you're past the final boss the real main advice i can give is try and work together as a team don't try and just solo those robots you want to try and kill them as fast as possible and honestly this have so much health you really need at least two people a lot of the time unless it's just one robot and even then, it still can take a good amount of time. You're probably going to take damage doing that. So try and kill people together, kill robots together. And then, honestly, it's a little bit of spawn luck. Another thing you can try and do is when those bull robots are charging in at you, try and have them not charge towards the safe. That way, they're not just dealing a bunch of damage towards the safe. As that's definitely going to make it die a lot faster. As that's definitely going to make it die a lot faster, obviously. But... The main reason for that is because it's kind of hard to get them off the safe. So if you can just distract them, have them go, you know, towards the side, away from the safe, something like that, that's definitely a good idea. The other thing you can do is if you're a full health El Primo, you can jump on, if there's like multiple range robots, you can jump on them and try and kill them. That's definitely worth it if you can kill those range guys as they last forever and you're never really going to be able to kill them because there's just your auto target is going to be going towards the melee guys who you're not going to be able to kill fast enough just because they have too much health so that can be one use to try and kill those range guys but otherwise there's not a lot you can do just try and find time to heal up especially towards 5 30 and six minutes you want to be trying to find the time to heal up so you can make sure you get at least max coins if not you should be able to get to around 6 30 a lot of the times uh if you're able to not die around six minutes if you're dying around six minutes you're probably just going to get closer to max coins if you're dying before that you're going to be having trouble maybe getting to max coins if you die at the last boss that's okay as long as you work together to kill the next few waves and no one is dying right there on those early waves if you're able to deal with those early waves you should be able to get to max coins pretty easily all right let's go over the other comp which i think is a bit stronger and you should be able to get to past 6 30 um at least half of the time i would say all right so with this comp i feel like there's two main keys similar to as i said before but one of the brawlers has changed so pam still really stable pam got a really decent buff got an 11 percent damage buff a couple days ago so she is an even better option to robo but now she does pretty decent damage if i'm gonna be honest she actually does good damage. The only thing against Pam is her reload is a little bit slow. But to be honest, Pam is definitely the easiest utility brawler. She makes it really, really easy to get max coins. Honestly, the Pam comp is definitely the strongest. Makes it really easy to get max coins. Especially throughout like the first five minutes. She makes it just so easy because you honestly just have so much healing and she has decent damage. Like you're it's pretty hard to die with Pam, I feel like. Because Pam, especially if you have her star power, she just does 30 health every hit. I think she does six or seven hits per shot. So you end up with that combined with the healing turret, you end up with a decent amount of damage and a lot of healing. It makes it really hard to die to the bosses, makes it really hard to die in general, except for if they're not able to get the whoever's on the left isn't gonna have it. So as far as placing Pam's turret, you want to place it on the right for the most part. For the first like four and a half minutes, except for bosses, you place it on the right. You're going to place it behind the wall in the corner. You should see in the gameplay where you're going to place the turret, but at least for exactly, but you're going to place it on the right behind the wall so no robots can shoot at it or hit it with melee unless they're past that final bend on the right side. So that way, whoever's on the right and the middle has the ability to get healing. Now, the only time you might change your turret placement is, let's say, there's a boss spawn. The first one, I don't think you need to do this, but you can. Place it, let's say, just anywhere, wherever, whatever side the boss is on, place it before you get to the boss. That way, you can charge it up again while you're hitting the boss. So this way, you have the healing while you're facing the boss. Just place it somewhere where the boss isn't going to target it, somewhere behind a wall. It's going to depend on the spawn where the boss is. 
and then you should be able to pretty easily get it back and if not the next few waves are usually pretty easy just two robots two robots and then three so it's not a big deal if you don't have your healing turret for those first few waves at the least but that makes it pretty easy really easy to deal with those bosses that combined with their star power you end up with a ton of healing and honestly you could just like straight up tank the boss shots it's pretty awesome all right so the other brawlers that are really important is el primo i think el primo is the best tank for robo rumble right now mainly because he does splash damage he does splash damage he has the fastest reload so i actually think his dps might be the highest bulls is still pretty good though um so him and el primo and then el primo super is a little bit easier it's more utility if the boss is on different sides he can get to it much faster so it deals with the boss easier as el primo so el primo i think is the strongest option you're gonna have el primo on the left oh i didn't say earlier but pam is going to be in the middle and you're gonna have colts or shelly on the right so el primo is gonna be on the left he's gonna be by himself for the most part you want to make sure you use those walls to have brawlers get close to you before they start attacking you, especially with those ranged guys. If you're just facing tanks, it's not a big deal. You can attack them as soon as possible. But if there's a ranged guy, make sure you hide behind those walls until they get right next to you, and then you start attacking them. Um, and then if you need to heal up, you go behind the second layer of walls. You run back there, heal up, and then you start attacking them again. That's the general strategy with El Primo on the left. And then you're just going to use his super to attack whatever lane the boss is in, and you just jump on him. Pretty straightforward with El Primo. There's not a lot different you can do. Um, and then on the right side, you're going to have a Colt or a Shelly. I've had pretty good success with both. Colt, obviously the highest damage out of all the brawlers in the game right now. So he's definitely a really strong option. Later in the game, he's still pretty good. Uh, the one weakness with Colt is you have to make sure later game, no melee robots are charging towards Colt. Because if so... He takes, he loses about half of his health and it can take, it can be hard for Colt to build up his health again as there's honestly not many chances for him to do so later in the game because everyone has so much health it takes forever to kill them. You honestly don't get the chance that much except for Pam. Pam can help do that. So otherwise, if you have a Shelly on the right, same thing, make sure you're using those walls to your advantage, getting those pot shots, letting the brawlers get close to you. Um, and then it's just pretty simple. You just want to try and use your shotgun, get a lot of damage. And the other thing with Colts is later game, you want to be using your super as much as possible past the last boss. If you can hit two robots with your super, do it. And I would say try and aim manually with Colts super. Everything else, you can aim with auto aim for all the brawlers, really. Except for, no, pretty much you can just always aim auto for the most part. Um, the one difference is Colts super. Try not to aim auto attack try and do it manually as you want to make sure you're hitting two robots at least and that way you're getting your super back because the main thing with colt it does amazing damage it's really really important to hit multiple brawlers as then you're getting much more damage overall and you're building up your next super so that's really really key colt is really key later on if you want to get a really high time honestly if you want to get the best time you want to break the record for the week for Robo Rumble, you probably need Colt and you need him to do really well. You need him to be hitting two or three brawlers with every super and just getting it back as soon as possible. And that's going to be the best way to get a really, really high time. If you want to get 640, if you want to get 650, you have to probably have Colt. Shelly is a really decent option. She's pretty good versus those boxer robots and she's pretty good versus the boss as well. Does a lot of damage. 2100 damage per shot at close range and over 4000 with her super so she does pretty decent damage her reloads not amazing but it's definitely not that bad either so definitely a really decent option but all right guys that's gonna be all my tips really for robo rumble i hope you guys are doing really well this week i hope you're getting max keys every single time i think i've said coins a couple times throughout the video and i haven't realized max keys whatever but that's gonna be it for today's video guys Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you later.